Hey there, econ students and teachers. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a free response question which requires you to use the utility maximization rule to figure out the optimal combination of two goods that a consumer can use. If you're an AP student, this is a real past AP question, so this will be great practice for you for any test or quizzes you might have coming up. Be sure to pause the video when you see the question and attempt it on your own before you watch my solutions. Please subscribe to my channel and head over to econclassroom.com for more great resources for econ students and teachers. In this video, we're going to walk through a few examples of the types of questions that you might see around the utility maximization rule. Let's start with the example on the screen here. Martha has a fixed income of $20, and she spends it on two goods, X and Y. The price of good X is $4, and the price of good Y is $2. The table here shows us the total utilities, or the total benefits, that Martha receives from goods X and Y at a range of quantities from 0 to five. Let's start by answering the first question here. What is Martha's marginal utility of the fifth unit of good X? Well, here's the thing. We don't have a marginal utility column on this table, so we can add one. Let's look at good X here, and we'll determine what the marginal utility of X is at each level of consumption. As we can see, the first unit of good X provides Martha with 16 utils, and the second unit of good X provides Martha with an additional 12 utils, and we can see that the fifth unit of good X, her total utility only increases by one util. So the answer to this first question is one util. Remember that marginal utility equals the change in total utility divided by the change in quantity of a good. As the quantity increased from four to five, total utility increased by one util, giving Martha a marginal utility of one util for the fifth unit. Next question. Martha is currently consuming four units of X and two units of Y. Use marginal analysis to explain why this combination is not optimal for Martha. To answer this question, we need to revisit the utility maximization rule. Utility maximization rule says that in order to maximize a consumer's total utility, she should consume where the marginal utility of two goods divided by the price of the two goods are equal to one another. In this case, we have the marginal utility of X over the price of X should be equal to the marginal utility of Y divided by the price of Y. Let's look at the combination of four units of good X and two units of Y and determine whether this is an optimal combination of goods for Martha to be consuming. At four units of good X, her utility, her marginal utility of the fourth unit, the marginal utility of X equals 3 to 4, 4 utils. The price of good X, you'll recall, was $4. So Martha's marginal utility per price is 4 over 4, which gives Martha 1 util per dollar in her current level of consumption of good X. Let's look at good Y. We're going to now calculate the marginal utility of Y divided by the price of Y. Martha's currently consuming 2 units of good Y. As we can see up here, the second unit of good Y gave Martha a utility of eight utils. In other words, her marginal utility is eight utils, and the price of good Y is $2 per unit. So we divide eight utils by $2 per unit, giving Martha a marginal utility per dollar of four utils per dollar. So the question was, is this an optimal combination for Martha? And clearly it is not. Martha, if she is a rational consumer, will increase her consumption of the good that provides her with more marginal utility per dollar. And that, in this case, is good Y. So she should increase her consumption of Y, and she should decrease her consumption of the good that is giving her less marginal utility per dollar, which is, in this case, X. She should decrease her consumption of X. Good Y gives her more happiness per dollar at four utils per dollar compared with good X, which gives her only one util per dollar. The rational thing for Martha to do is buy more of good Y and less of good X. So the next question is, what is the optimal combination of goods X and Y for Martha? To find this, we just need to find the quantity at which the marginal utility of X over the price of X equals the marginal utility of Y over the price of Y. We can determine that by looking at our marginal utility per dollar for X and our marginal utility per dollar for Y. We know the price of X is $4 and the price of Y is $2. So I can divide the marginal utility at each level of consumption by the price. 
The marginal utility of x as consumption goes from 0 to 1 is 16. Divide that by the price for a marginal utility per price of 4 utils per dollar. Then she goes from 16 to 28. That's 12 divided by 4 is 3 utils per dollar. As she goes from 2 units to 3 units, her margin utility is 8, and the price is 4, giving her a margin utility of 2 utils per dollar. And then she gets 1 util per dollar. And finally, as she consumes her fifth unit of good X, she gets only 1 util of extra utility divided by $4 gives her 0 0.25 utils per dollar. Now let's find the margin utility per dollar for good Y, and we can find where these two are equal to determine the optimal combination of the two goods. Good Y costs $2 per unit. Her margin utility of the first unit is 10, giving her a margin utility per dollar of 5 utils per dollar. The second unit provides her with 8 additional utils of happiness. Divide that by $2 for 4 utils per dollar. The third unit, marginal utility goes up by 6 units. Divide that by $2 for a margin utility per dollar of 3 utils per dollar, and so on. As her consumption increases to 4 units, margin utility goes up by 4 utils. Divide that by $2 for 2 utils per dollar. And finally, the last unit, the fifth unit, provides her with only two utils of happiness. Divide that by two dollars for a margin utility per dollar of one util. So now we need to find the combination of these two goods where margin utility per dollar is equalized, but it's within her budget. So what was Martha's budget? She has twenty dollars to spend on these two goods. How many units of good X and how many units of good Y should Martha buy to maximize her total utility? Let's determine what she should buy first. Martha can clearly get more utility per dollar for her first unit of good Y. So she's going to buy that first, costing her $2, leaving her $18 left to spend. The second unit of good Y provides her with 4 utils per dollar, whereas the first unit of good X provides with 4 utils per dollar. If she can afford both, she'll buy both, and she can. She can buy the first unit of good X, that's going to cost her $4, and the second unit of good Y, that's going to cost her $2, at $6, she's now left with $12 remaining. Well, the third unit of good Y provides her with 3 utils per dollar, and the second unit of good X also provides her with 3 utils per dollar. She can afford both, they will cost her $6, and she will buy both, leaving her with $6 remaining. Now, the fourth unit of good Y provides her with two utils per dollar, and the third unit of good X provides her with two utils per dollar, and those two units are going to cost her a total of six dollars. She can afford that. That's the remainder of her budget. She has now spent twenty dollars, and she will buy three units of X and four units of Y. The marginal utility per dollar of X over the price of X will equal the marginal utility of good Y over the price of Y, and those will equal two utils per dollar. This is the utility maximizing combination of the two goods. Martha should buy three units of good X and four units of good Y. That's where marginal utility per dollar is equalized and her entire budget of $20 is exhausted. Let's move on to the last part of this problem. Indicate whether each of the following will cause the optimal quantity of good Y to increase, decrease, or stay the same. The price of good Y doubles. Now this is an indication question. All we need to do is really say whether it increases or decreases the optimal quantity of good Y. If the price of Y doubles, what happens? The marginal utility per dollar will have, if you double the denominator, the price of the good, then the result in our marginal utility per dollar calculation falls by half. So as Martha will receive less bang for her buck, less additional happiness per dollar spent on good Y, she will decrease her quantity of Y as the price doubles. What if Martha's income falls to $10 and there's no change in the prices? We know that income is a determinant of demand. If her income falls, then she will be able to afford less of both goods. Therefore, the quantity of good Y demanded will also fall as she is no longer able to afford as many units of good Y as she was before. Now the last question here, what if Martha's income doubles and the price of both goods double? Well, assuming there's no change in the marginal utility of either goods X or Y, there will be no change in her optimal combination of the two goods. Her real income essentially remains the same when the price of the goods doubles and her income doubles. 
Therefore, she will not change because the margin utilities did not change and the prices relative to one another of goods X and Y has not changed. In this video, we walk through the solution to a real free response question on utility maximization. We revisited the utility maximization rule and we applied it to help answer different questions about how a consumer will respond to changes in prices, changes in income, and other variables based on data in a total utility, or in this case, a total benefit table.